Can you imagine having this incredible variety of orchids around? Of course not. You would kill them all. Don't try. Just come here. But looking at this huge diversity, can we figure out what even is an orchid? Is it that orchids like to live in trees and you don't put them in real soil? <coughs> Some orchids do that, the tropical beauties we love to grow, but orchids, like those native to Colorado, grow in the ground. To find out what makes an orchid really an orchid, let's look at three, two, one. Since orchids are monocots, we can do a monocot lesson another time, but orchids, iris, lily, grasses, all have their flower parts in threes. Orchids will have three sepals. Now the sepals are what protect the flower before it opens. So you'll often see the little green flappy things underneath the flower, but on orchids, when those open up, they really are showy enough to be part of the flower, and the three sepals will look the same. Then orchids will have three petals, but those are divided up into two that will look the same, those are the twinsies. The twinsy petals often resemble the three sepals. The third petal I call the wonky bit. That's the one that's gonna look extra fun and that'll be the part you notice on some really silly looking orchids. So the sepals and the petals are all the sexy window dressing, but the actual sexy bits are fused here into this column. These are the two little pollen sacs that you'll find on orchids. So here you can see three petals, two twinsies, one wonky bit, and there's all our sexy bits in the column. Here you go, three sepals, two twinsies, one wonky bit, and there's all the sexy bits in the column. Three sepals, two twinsies, one wonky bit, and the column.